before you can start an Oracle instance, you need to have an initialization parameter in place. And this is the default location of this file. In this case, it is sp file xe.aura. And this is the command that you can run on SQL prompt to see the location of your SP file or your initialization parameter file. An initialization parameter file is absolutely essential to run an Oracle database. It is a file that stores information about the instance and the database configuration and along with other very important parameters that you can set or define with the help of this initialization parameter file is the size of SGA which means a system global area. SGA is a shared memory structure that is built into the computer's memory as soon as initialization parameter file is read. Initialization parameter file also tells Oracle about the number and location of control files and you'll find out soon that most of the parameters in this important file are pillars on which the Oracle database rests and without which database cannot function the way you want it to function. And you'll notice that without some parameters in this file, it cannot even be started. The instance cannot be started. Oracle uses two different types of initialization parameter files. One is known as server parameter file, which is also known as SP file, as in this case. This is also known as server parameter file, SP file, xe.aura. So in this case, xe is the name of the instance. It is the name of the database so in your case depending upon whatever the name of your database is it would be sp file sid which is a system identifier which means the name of your database dot aura the other type of file is known as p file or parameter file the name would be init dot aura so init and the name of your instance dot aura sp file is a binary file and the contents should not be edited with the help of text editors but contents are dynamic which means you can make changes with the help of alter system statement while the instance is up and running and the changes will be made instantly init aura on the other hand is a text file init name of your instance dot aura is a text file which can be edited with the help of any operating system text editor in our example, we are running Oracle on Windows, so we can use Notepad as a text editor. But uh, the problem is it's not dynamic. You'll have to shut down and restart the instance for changes to take place. Oracle provides complete flexibility though, in that you can very easily convert an SP file to a P file in order to be able to read its contents and modify them. And then you can reconvert the init.aura file back to the binary file. You can manually create an init aura file and then convert it to a binary file. Both files have names of the database appended in front of them as we discussed and Oracle looks for SP file first in the default location. When you trigger an instance to start up, it doesn't find the SP file. It will look for P file and if it cannot find the P file, you cannot start the instance. This command would not only show you the location of the initialization parameter file if your database is running on SP file or server parameter file. But it will also tell you what type of file you're using. So in our example, we know that we are using SP file, which is a binary file. Now, if it was, and you can also run uh, show parameter P file, and you'll have the same, same result show parameter sp file and show parameter p file if the database was running on p file there would be no value here it would be null here which indicates that your database is running on init or a file or a, or text version of sp file so i have this location stored in my computer's memory if i go to host operating system and i paste this location and I'll have to say and if I enter we are in the folder that has sp file sp file x sp file xe dot aura we can simply create a p file with the help of this sp file and the statement is simple create p file from sp 
from SP file. So in order to to be able to see the contents of this initial initialization parameter file, I'm creating a copy of this file, a a text copy of this file. Create P file from SP file, and that should be okay. File created. If I go back to host operating system once again, and I paste the location once again. you'll see an init xe.aura has been created that was not there before. So we can do two things. We can, let me copy it first onto a different location. Copy init xe.aura. I want to go to C backslash users backslash acer backslash desktop. So I want to copy <coughs> this text file or initialization parameter file in it xe.aura to my desktop. One file has been copied and you can see it is appearing on my desktop here. So I can double click it and open it and see the contents of it. And I just want to show you one thing. Let me minimize it first. Go back to SQL plus and shut down the instance. And if I start up once again, you'll see memory area being created for the database for the instance. So total system global area is 500 megabytes. And we can actually convert, we can make sure that whatever we are saying is right. So I'll show you that this is 500 MB will convert these bytes into megabytes. So let's say select, paste, then we'll have to divide this by 1024 to change it to kilobytes and 1024 once again to change it to megabytes. From dual and the SGA size is nearly 500 megabytes. So with our initialization parameter file, we want to do two things. We want to modify this one and we want to start the instance with the help of a P file instead of SP file. See, so what I'll do, I will open this up and I'll change this file. This is here, SG target 500 MB and I'll say maybe 700 MB and I'll save it. I'll shut it down and I want to shut down the instance And I'll restart the database with the help of this parameter file and, and I'll show you what the command is. Okay, so I want to say start up and I want to tell it start with a P file instead of SP file and then I'll have to tell it the location of the P file which is init xe.aura. So see users backslash acer backslash desktop and init xe.aura single quotation close and enter so this time instead of using sp file from default location the database will start this file because we have asked it to do so now you can notice the system global area has been changed to seven nearly 700 mb from 500 mb nearly 500 mb to 700 mb and we can check to make sure that this is the case. So I'll say select and I'll paste the number that we copied and then we'll divide it by 1024 to change it to kilobytes and then once again to change it to megabytes Okay, so nearly 700 MB. Notice the fixed size hasn't changed in both situations. So that's how you can create a copy of initialization parameter file. Just want to show you one more thing. 
if I run this statement show parameter SP file this time so there's no value it means your database is running with the help of a P file not a SP file no matter what command you run show parameter P file there's no value here so that's how you check if your database is running on P file or SP file and that's how you make a copy and then you can convert this back to SP file create create you can see create SP file from P file thank you very much